Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at switch port security. We're going to be taking a look at how to configure switch port security, how to verify that you know we have uh, switch port security set up properly, and we're going to just take a look at the different techniques and ways to set up switch port security. Switch port security is designed to to protect switch ports from unauthorized access and basically we're going to use it to to deny um, rogue MAC addresses or MAC addresses from you know from from nodes you know like computer servers and stuff from being able to just hook into our switches without you know, without the proper authorization. So, uh, switch port security offers a layer of security to all your individual switch ports on your switches. Uh, what I'm going to be using here in this lab is a real Cisco 3550. We're going to be just taking a look at security on the uh, Cisco 3550 at the switch port level. We're going to be taking a look at all the different modes we can do. Again, one of the main reasons to protect our switch ports on our switches is we don't want uh, unauthorized uh, access into, you know, our our switches. We don't want people connecting in to our switches and gaining access to the network. So what we can do is we can lock down the switch ports we can use um, a layer of of filtering, I guess is what you could call it, or, or you know, port security here is what it's called. And what we're going to do is we're just going to allow certain layer two addresses, layer two MAC addresses in this case, to be authenticated and authorized on our switch ports. So what I'm going to show you here is an example. We're going to use uh, switch one. We're going to go through just the basics of a switch port port security. And what I'm going to do here is I'm in uh, I'm in uh, switch one here, as we can see. And what I'm going to do is, uh, this is not going to be too long of a, a, a video. What we're going to do is we're going to go under the switch interface. So we'll just pick an interface here, interface fast than at 0, 10. And we'll follow that up with the switch port. And then you can see here port security is directly under the switch port command under the interface. So if I go ahead and enable uh, port security to switch port port security and then as you can see here I can go ahead and hit enter here and if I just do this by default the default action uh, well you can see here it says a dynamic port so let's hold on let's just take a look at this port here do show run interface FA010 and as you can see here, if the dynamic trunking protocol mode, in this case DTP, the switch port mode is dynamic desirable, what we need to do is make this switch port either a trunk or an access switch port. So we'll go under here and we'll just make it an access port. So switch port mode access. And okay, so now that we have our switch port set up as the in uh, access mode, again, you need you can't have your switch port in desirable or in a dynamic mode here as you could see um, earlier here as a dynamic port we can't have that action when we're trying to set port security so we go ahead and put in there switch port mode access now if we do a switch port port security and hit enter now you can see that it takes it so if we do a do show run interface FA 010 now uh, you can see that the switch port port security command is under there under the interface and again by default it's going to set our uh, port security to uh, one MAC address allowed here 